good day, great for little scientists. I'm Teacher V, your scientific buddy. Are you ready to learn? Let's go! For this week's lesson, Teacher Rafael will guide you. Good day, kids. I'm Teacher Rafael. For this week's lesson, quarter to week six, we will describe some types of beneficial and harmful interactions among living things. Living things constantly interact with one another in an ecosystem. An ecosystem consists of a community of organisms together with their physical environment. Ecosystems can be of different sizes. It can be on land or in water. Within these ecosystems, different ecological relationships occur. Ecological relationships describe the interactions between and among organisms within their environment. These interactions may have positive, negative, or neutral effects on either species' ability to survive and reproduce, or fitness. There are five major types of species interactions, mutualism, commensalism, competition, parasitism, and predation. Take a look at this video. What organisms can you see? Very good! A bee and a flower. Bees fly from flower to flower, gathering nectar which they make into food, benefiting the bees. When they land in a flower, the bees get some pollen on their hairy bodies. And when they land in the next flower, some of the pollen from the first one rubs off, pollinating the plant. This benefits the plants. In this mutualistic relationship, the bees get to eat and the flower plants get to reproduce. Mutualism is a close, long-lasting relationship where both parties benefit. Organisms can use other organisms for cleaning, protection, or gathering food. Let's take a look at the other example. The anemone provides the clownfish with protection and shelter, while the clownfish provides the anemone with nutrients in the form of waste while also scaring off potential predator fish. Take a look at this picture. What organisms can you see? You are correct. Orchids on a tree. Orchids grow on trees but use them just for support. They do not obtain energy or nutrients from the trees. Therefore, the tree is unharmed and unaffected. This relationship is called commensalism. Commensalism is an interaction where one species benefits and the other remains unaffected. In a commensalism relationship, the one benefited is called the commensal and the one unharmed is called the host. Let's take a look at the other example. Cattle egrets follow grazing cows and eat the flies and bugs that tend to bother the cows. The egrets benefit from the arrangement, but the cows generally do not. What about this video? What can you see? You are correct! The three cats fighting and competing for a piece of meat. This is called competition. Competition exists when multiple organisms live for the same limiting resource. They rely on the same environmental resource. Here are some examples of competition among organisms. Take a look at this picture. What can you see? Very good! The mosquito is sucking blood from a human. The mosquito was benefited while the human may be harmed 
especially if the mosquito is infected with dengue virus. This is called parasitism. Parasitism is a kind of relationship wherein one organism benefits from the relationship at the expense of the other. In a parasitism relationship, the one benefited is called the parasite, while the harmed one is called the host. These are the other examples of parasitism relationship. Take a look at this video. The horned lizard eats the ant. The lizard was benefited while the ant was killed. This is called predation. Predation includes any interaction between two species in which one species benefits by obtaining resources from and to the detriment of the other. In a predation relationship, a predator is an organism that eats another organism and the prey is the organism which the predator eats. These are some examples of predation relationship. Thank you, Teacher Rafael, for having with us today. Wow, we're done with the discussion. Are you ready for some adventure? Let's go! We have three tasks to complete. Let's go with the first task. Identify the terms described by the following statements. Number one, it is the organism which the predator eats. Number two, in a commensalism type of ecological relationship, it is the one benefited in the relationship. Number three, it describes the interaction between and among organisms within their environment. You have 30 seconds to answer this. Your time starts now. Did you get the correct answers? Bravo! Let's go to the second task. Identify the ecological relationship shown by the following organisms. Number one, the remora stays under the shark's belly and catches the excess food that the shark has left behind. Number two, please or takes that live on dogs. Number three, spiders spinning webs to trap and kill insects. You have 30 seconds to answer this. Your time starts now. Did you get the correct answers? Amazing! Let's go to the third task. Read and analyze the statements below. Write true if the statement is correct and false if it is 
incorrect. Number one, an animal that hunts and consumes other organisms is known as a predator. Number two, mutualism is a relationship in which one organism benefits while the other is unaffected. Number three, symbiosis is any type of a close and long-term biological interaction between two different biological organisms. You have 30 seconds to answer this. Your time starts now. Did you get the correct answers? Good job! Wow! We're done with our lesson today! Congratulations! See you next video!